Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to replace the screen in a Toshiba C650 series laptop. Uh, the unit I have here today is a PSC2EC-01001. Uh, that means it has a uh, LED backlit panel. Um, some of the models in the C650 series have uh, CCFL backlit panels. Uh, in that case, the replacement procedure is exactly the same, except you have two cables to deal with once you open up the uh, top frame assembly. So, uh, before you begin, uh, it's best to remove all power sources. So, um, of course, AC power and the battery. To remove the battery in this unit, uh, slide the switch on your left uh, all the way out, and then while holding the one on your right, push the battery out and set it aside. So, now we can actually begin. Uh, start by opening the laptop all the way, which is about here. Don't put too much pressure on the hinges. Now, in this unit, I'm just going to tilt the laptop slightly this way so you can see better. Um, there are four screws which hold the screen in place, and they're on each corner of the unit, and they are covered by small plastic uh, circles. To remove these, either use a small um, flathead screwdriver, or in my case, I'm going to be using an X-Acto knife. Uh, they are held on by a sticky glue and uh, they should be easily replaceable if you take them off properly. To remove them, make sure you hold the panel with one hand so you don't put too much pressure on the hinges. So, with the caps removed, there are four Phillips head screws under each. So with a standard screwdriver, remove the screws. Now, with all four screws removed, we have to remove the bezel. The bezel is held in place by clips all around the frame. To remove this, simply pry up the panel from the inside with your fingers. Once you have the bezel removed, set it aside. Now you'll notice that the display panel itself is held into the hinges by four, sorry, three um, Phillips screws on both, both sides. Sorry, I had a cold today. Um, so just remove these screws. Once you've removed the six screws, you can now take a towel or a cloth and place it over the uh, laptop bottom and then flip the screen over onto it like so. The cloth is good because it not only prevents scratching, but if you have a shattered display, uh, it prevents uh, shards of glass from getting into the keyboard. Now is probably the most delicate part. Here you will see a connector. This is the video connector. It's very fragile because it's connected directly to the display circuitry. Um, in factory default models, it will have a piece of tape uh, covering it. Um, in this case, you will want to remove the tape from part of it. The cable itself is also tacked down. Once you've removed all the glue, simply pull straight out and the cable should disconnect. Be very careful when setting that aside. Take the old panel and do not discard it at this time, just set it aside because if the new panel does not function or malfunctions, you can use the old panel as a diagnostic tool. So here I have my new panel, which I purchased from ScreenCountry.com. I've left the original plastic film on it. I'd like to leave that on as long as possible to prevent any unnecessary damage or finger marks on the panel. So now we're just going to reverse the entire process, starting with the display cable. Simply pull back the adhesives and slide it back perfectly straight until it's fully connected and then make sure you stick down the adhesives again so that the display cable does not move during normal use of the unit. Don't put, apply too much pressure because you are contacting the uh, board and as you can read here it says do not touch. 
Now you can flip the display panel back into the frame and now reattach those six screws on the sides. Once the six screws are in place, make sure that you verify that the data, uh, display data cable is uh, in its proper position and that it's not uh, overlapping any clips um, so that it won't get cut or damaged when we put the bezel back on. At this time, it's best to remove the uh, plastic film from the display. Now we take the bezel and we snap it back on. You'll notice that around the hinges they have these nice hook shaped clips so it's always important to get those on first. Once everything has been snapped back in place you can replace those four screws in the bezel. Once the four screws are back in place, reattach the screw covers. You're now done. So we can now replace the battery and test to see if the new panel works. Power up the unit, the panel comes on, and it looks beautiful. So, it's as simple as that. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, leave them in the comments. Thank you.